In this video, we will retarget the bare metal example application that was used previously to a new design configuration. We will create a new board target in a bare metal project. Then we will modify the icicle kit reference design using the MSS configurator. And finally, we will set the Polar Fire SOC configuration generator paths. Before creating a new board configuration, you must ensure that you have imported the MPFS Real Time Clock Time Example project into Soft Console as seen in the previous video. In this example, we will create an Icicle Kit configuration folder. To do this, right click on Boards, select New Folder, and call it My Icicle Kit Configuration. Next, select the folder that you created and create three subfolders. Firstly, create the FPGA Design subfolder, which contains the XML generated by the MSS configurator. This also needs a Design Description subfolder. Next, there is the FPGA Design Config folder, which contains the auto-generated header files that describe the PolarFire SOC configuration. And finally, the Platform Config folder, which contains custom linker scripts and the saved MSS configurations, which can be modified with the MSS configurator. Next, navigate to github.com forward slash polarfire dash SOC and download a copy of the Icicle Kit reference design from the Icicle Kit reference design repository. Once the zip is downloaded, extract the files so they can be accessed. Now, let's take a look deeper inside the Icicle Kit reference design configuration files. The reference design contains configuration files which can be opened with a PolarFire SOC MSS configurator. These configurations can be used to generate an MSS configuration description file, which is in XML format. The MSS configuration description file contains metadata that describes register configurations for the clocks, the L2 cache, peripheral configurations, as well as the I.O. bank assignment, the DDR memory topology, and initialization values. The MSS configuration description file can then be imported to Soft Console to automatically generate the header files required by the platform, which we will do in a moment. First, open the PolarFire SOC MSS configurator. You can do so by searching for it in your toolbar. Then we want to open the project. To do so, go to Project and select Open. Navigate to where you downloaded the reference design, and then from here go to the Script Support folder and find the CFG file. Select the config file, and once it's open, navigate to the Clocks tab. And here we will change the MSS PLL clock frequency from 600 MHz to 300 MHz. Once you've done that, click the yellow cylinder at the top to generate the output files. The software will prompt you to select a folder to store the generated outputs. You can create a new folder for these and then click Select Folder and it will generate the outputs to that folder. The files generated from the previous steps in the MSS Configurator are the MSS Configuration Project file in config format. There is also a Libero MSS component file as a CXZ file. The MSS Configuration Description file in XML format. And finally, the MSS Configuration Report Index in HTML format. Once you have the output files from the MSS Configurator, copy the MSS Configuration Description file, which is the XML file that is generated from the MSS Configurator, to the FPGA Design folder inside the Design Description folder within the My Icicle Kit configuration. The PolarFire SOC Configuration Generator is a Python utility provided in all bare metal example applications. It generates header files from the information supplied in the MSS Configurator XML file, and the generated files are used by the HAL to configure the SOC at startup, for example the clocks, the IOs, the DDR configuration, etc. The PolarFire SOC Configuration Generator is automatically run as part of the build process. Next, let's change the settings for this by navigating to Properties, C slash C++, Build Settings, and go to the Build Steps tab. In the pre-build steps, there is a command which has the Python script path, source folder path, and the destination folder path. The source path is to the XML folder, and the destination path is where the header files should be generated. 
you must modify the Polar Fire SOC Configurator build step to point to the Icicle Kit configuration. Please edit the source folder and the destination folder as you see in this slide. Finally, you should build your project. Before the build, you will have an empty FPGA design config folder. And after the build, this folder will be filled with the generated configuration files, which can be seen on the right hand side of the screen. Finally, to verify the design changes in the XML file, you can go to Source, Boards, My Icicle Kit Configuration, Clocks, and go to your hardware mssclocks.h file. In this file, if you scroll down, you will see your Libero settings for the MSS Coreplex CPU clock has a value of 6 million hex. Now rebuild the project, which will take a minute. Once it's rebuilt, navigate back and open the hardware mssclocks.h file, and here you will see that the Libero settings for the MSS Coreplex CPU clock has changed to 3 million hex.